Welcome to You Say, We Say News, where we provide you with updates on the results from the You Say, We Say presidential election poll. I'm Dr. Zim Wakora, a political scientist on the You Say, We Say team. You Say, We Say has been designed by faculty and students at Deakin University, Australia. The project aims to give people in every country around the world a chance to have their say in the upcoming American presidential election. Our survey asks, who do you expect to win? Who do you want to win? And why do you hold the views that you do? If you haven't already submitted your response, please do participate. It's a chance to have your say. And we, the research team, would be grateful for your contribution to our understanding of how the world thinks and feels about the American presidential election. A few headlines. You Say We Say has been in the field for about a week. About 100 people per day are participating. We hope that this figure will grow, but even at that rate, we're confident that the survey will have generated a large sample by the end of the election campaign period on November the 5th. As of yesterday afternoon, we had 540 responses, the bulk from people living in Australia, though we also received submissions from 25 other countries, including Afghanistan, Canada, India, Nigeria, the United Kingdom, and many others. So, who does the world think will win the presidential election? Vice President Kamala Harris or former President Donald Trump? The answer at this stage is Kamala Harris. Approximately 60% of our respondents believe that the Democratic Party ticket of Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz will win ahead of the Republican Party ticket of Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. That's the overall picture so far. However, there are some important differences across countries. For example, bucking the general trend, the Canadian and Nigerian respondents in our sample mostly believe that Trump is more likely than Harris to become the 47th president of the United States. If that's the outcome that our respondents expect, how does that align with what they prefer? As well as asking respondents who do they think will win the election, our survey asked them who would they like to win. Harris again emerges as the winner on this question. Most of our respondents, about 65%, would prefer her to be the next president of the United States, whereas Donald Trump as president is preferred by 28% of you say, we say respondents. We also considered several independent and minor party candidates. The best performing among them is the Green Party ticket led by Jill Stein, who is the preferred president for 3% of respondents. The You Say We Say data will help us to understand several aspects of the presidential election from a global vantage point. One topical question at the moment is whether and how much gender matters in public attitudes towards this election. We know from polling conducted within the United States that women are more likely to prefer Harris and men are more likely to prefer Trump, with a magnitude of the difference around 14 percentage points. Do we see something similar in international public opinion? In the You Say, We Say sample, we also see evidence of a gender gap in terms of presidential preference. 75% of women would prefer Harris to win the election, but for men, that figure drops to 53%. This is a gender gap of 22%, which is bigger than the gender gap we see in the recent domestic polling of American citizens. For respondents who declared their gender as non-binary, preference for Harris is 73%, similar to, but slightly weaker than, her standing among female respondents. That's it for the You Say, We Say news for today. Please check out our website for more analysis and tune in for future news updates. And if you haven't already done so, please join the debate by expressing your view through the You Say, We Say survey. See you next time.